Hello friends, how are we doing it tonight? I just will say welcome back. Um, I'm clean faced, I've got my eye masks on and we're not gonna be doing a tutorial tonight because it's past midnight and we're actually gonna be doing empties for this year. So this is not full of empties, spoiler alert. This is full of some old products and just stuff leaving my collection in general as well. Um, these were not part of a declutter. These were just things I realized that needed to go um, along with the empties. So I'm going to kind of separate them and yeah, let's just not waste any time and jump right on into it. And for the empties, I'm going to let you guys know if I'll, you know, reconsider purchasing or not. Let's get right into it. I would like to start off with some bath products because I have quite a few. Um, I don't think I've ever included these in my end of the year videos, so I'm going to do it this year. Um, first off, I have this Body Shop shower gel that I got while I was working at Ulta last year. This is the fresh raspberry scent. And as you can see, I used it up. This stuff smelled so freaking good. It still has a smell to it. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smelled fantastic. I'm so sad I'm getting rid of this. I don't even think they have this smell anymore, but if they do, I might repurchase it because I'm not gonna lie, it smelled really good. Um, the body scrub, I think it was, smelled 10 times better, but I had enough scrubs from, um, Tree Hut? Yeah, Tree Hut. I just didn't, you know, I didn't need any more. All right. So I also had this Dr. Teal's. I have a lot of stuff from Dr. Teal's. So this is a foaming bath. Relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint. So I used up all of this and I really liked it, but I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing it. Um, I don't use Dr. Teal's for the foaming baths. This was just in a gift set that I got. Done. However, I do, re I, I do and I will keep repurchasing the Epsom salts from Dr. Teal's. I used up the activated charcoal one. This was a mini. And then I have the melatonin sleep soak, which is one of my favorites. That's so good. And a calm your mind with ashwagandha and essential oils. This one was really nice. And then I also got a holiday set last year while I was working at Ulta of little like minis for your bath. This was a hot cocoa bath confetti. Ran out of it. Marshmallow scented bath salts. Ran out of it. And cinnamon swirl bubble bath. Um, there's like seriously the tiniest bit left in there. Not even enough to create a bubble, probably. <laughs> Let me get all of my skincare products and my face products out and we will return. I think I should call this next section hygiene because I do have a couple hand sanitizers in here. This is a full size one from Victoria's Secret, the pink line. It's the Sorbet Chill. These have aloe in them. I really like them. I'm actually working on finishing this one over here that I broke the top off of. So, you know, love it. We'll continue to use them. They're really nice. Um, I also like Bath and Body Works though. So, you know, I go through quite a few of those. I went through this one from Bath and Body Works called Girlfriend. It's also like very liquidy. So, and there's, you know, barely any in there. I'm going to call that empty because um, it's also got like a gob of white stuff kind of floating around in there. I'm not going to use the rest of that because I don't know what that is. <laughs> Whilst I don't think like it's antibacterial, you know, like a hand thing, this little piece of dirt back here is just aggravating me. Anyway, it shouldn't bother me. I don't think anything like would grow in a hand sanitizer jar. But on the other hand, I don't know. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm moving right along. <laughs> this is a mini Too Faced mascara melt off a cleansing oil waterproof mascara dissolver so you would just open this I would like rub that all over my lashes and then wipe it off I used it all it was great I don't even think they make it anymore um because that was actually really old and you know kind of embarrassed it was it's really old so now would not repurchase <laughs> this is a rose micellar water cleansing solution I got this in a kit at Marshall's um it doesn't even say the brand on here that I can see so, um, it was nice. I think I might keep this bottle to put other micellar waters in so I can spray. Um, I think that would be a good idea, but, um, you know, I can't even find that brand at Marshall's anymore, so don't think I will be repurchasing. <laughs> this was a free gift, I think from Ulta for my birthday. Beauty Bio Bright Eyes. This is the last one I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. Deep Huffing Brightening Eye Gels with Restorative Colloidal Silver. Huh. Um, I know colloidal silver is supposed to be good for, I think, psoriasis. I believe. So these got collagen, aloe, pearl, colloidal, silver, and it's supposed to help puffiness and um, fine lines under your eyes. Um, I'm not really big on eye masks. I'm not gonna lie. Um, like they just fall off. Um, I struggle with them to stay. These are staying pretty nicely only after they flopped off like four times before I started filming, you know? Just, I don't need them. 
All right, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. I'm pretty sure this is a mini pack. Um, I got them all on vacation because I forgot to bring my makeup wipes. So um, it was just a quick go-to. They were nice. They were, you know, pretty easy to use. I would repurchase again if I needed makeup wipes. And then last but not least on the um, hygiene section, this is the Active Moist from Dermalogica. Um, she's completely gone. Nothing. I love that stuff. Let's move on to face. I have quite a few. So I have this AOA, their Studio Pro Wear Foundation. It's a full coverage one. Um, I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed until I could not squeeze anymore. And this was just not coming out. I love this stuff. Um, back a couple years ago when I first bought it. Maybe even just like a year and a half ago. But anyway, it was my perfect shade then. I loved it. Super full coverage. Nice consistency. Um... I just can't get any more out, and I don't know if the product has thickened or what, but yeah, goodbye. I have better foundations. <laughs> All right, I've got a concealer, a few moisturizers, and I just dropped one. Oh my goodness. You've got to be shitting me. Everything's just falling. All right, so I have a Tarte Brighter Days Hydrating Moisturizer. This was nice, kind of a glowy highlighter lotion-y type deal. Um, same with this Glam Glow Nude Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. These are nice, just super glowy moisturizers. Um, I think I would buy the Tarte one before the Glam Glow, but I think there's just more affordable options out there. You don't need to go spend big money on that, you know? This is a Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, and she's, look at that, she's pretty empty, and she's just too dark for me right now, so I'm going to call that empty and get rid of her. Goodbye. I have two powders. This one is a mini butter powder from Venti. She's completely empty. Look at that. <laughs> That's so exciting. Yep, I even took the little um, sifter off so I could, you know, get in there for the last little bit. That was great. That was a really nice fine milled powder. I think it's really comparable to a hard candy, the Marilyn Monroe powder that I already have though, so I won't be repurchasing this just because I have something that works very similarly, but it was fantastic. This was my second one of the NYX Professional Can't Stop, Won't Stop powders. My second one I've been through. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. This one was in medium, and I think my first one was in light. So I think next time I'll get light medium and kind of be in the middle. Because this just got to where it was too dark for me. But I still used it because it was just such a good powder. It was so good. Alright, I've got three sprays. That one, not two, but three. This one is from Ciate. It's the Everyday Vacay, like a coconut setting spray. It was nice. It was very dewy. I really liked it. I'm so happy I ran out of it because it's actually kind of old. Um, I like the ABH one a bit better. It kind of does the same thing and it smells the exact same. So I would repurchase ABH before I repurchase this. Goodbye. These two are from Wet n Wild. I have the My Cherry Amour and the 3-in-1 Face Mist from Fantasy Makers in Dewy Illusion. Both gone both goodbye. Those are my favorite face mists, and I do have backups, different scents. All right. This is a Dragon's Blood liquid highlighter from Revolution. First of all, this is super old. Um, second of all, the product, I had a hard time actually, yeah, like look at just how thick and goopy that is. The product itself is beautiful, but I, I just can't get any out, so I'm pretty sure down in there it's empty. I think I might take the sticker around it off just to double check, but I'm almost certain it is empty because I just can't get any out. Um, I definitely would repurchase their liquid highlighters if they still make them. I don't really know if they do. I know they make like a glowy um, blush, and they make a squeezy tube highlighter that I have. Not sure about those though, but I would repurchase if they made them still. Alright, Glowish from Huda's Brand. This was a sample, I had like a light, a medium, and a dark of their um, glowish skin tint, and I used them all. It was okay. Um, I didn't really care for it. I just um, like medium to full coverage, and that was very light coverage and super dewy. It just wasn't really for me, so I would not repurchase that one, but I am glad that I got to try it. You one know. last face product. This is the Incredible You Glow Girl. This was the um, slime highlighter, like the galaxy colored one. I did run out of it. However, kind of moving on into eyes here, this was my big ABH eye primer that the lid literally decided to break off in the cap. And 
I did not have anything else to put it in, so this was an empty jar at the point, at that point, and I used it to store the rest of that in. However, this is not even the same color that this was when I got it, so I'm pretty sure it's old. Um, and I did try it on my eyes again, it just did not perform the same. So I am going to get rid of this because I'm certain it's old, and it, that's a, sad, but on the other hand, I have replaced it with a miniature because that's all the ABH sells now. I did purchase that from Ulta today so I could have a spare because it was my, one of my favorite eye primers. <laughs> Alright, finishing off with eyes and lips. An Ioni Lash Glue. This is from the Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. It is completely empty. What is left has dried up and she's just, she's good. She's great. She's $1.25 now and I highly recommend it. This is an Ulta Matte Eye Primer. To be fair, there was really nothing in this to begin with. I got one use out of this and it came in the um, Caboodles gift sets this year. So she's gone. I squeezed, squeezed, and squeezed nothing. I'm really upset because I actually like this eye primer. Um, and I just don't want to go spend 12 bucks on it again and then the bottle be empty like that one was. So, you know, I'm not going to repurchase that one, though I do like it. <laughs> this is an Essence Volume Hero Mascara. It's a waterproof one. She's dry. She's empty. Whoa. She tried to stab me. <laughs> um, though she is dry, she did get me. She got me. So, yeah. Completely dry. It's like you can really not get anything out of it. Um, I really did like that, though. Especially for my bottom lashes. It just, it's, it's a nice, nice thin wand. Alright, lips. I have three. This is a just classic Carmex balm. Gone. Love these things. Have so many different colors. This one is a ColourPop matte lipstick in the shade Sunday. Look at that. Completely dry. Completely dry. And I'm very happy I use that one all the time, but, you know, I don't have a spare. I just have more nude lipsticks I prefer to that one, so. This is Jeffree's Lipstick and Celebrity Skin. I do have a backup, and I use this one. It's completely dry. Nothing comes off okay, of my lips. So these next few products um, are not empty, per se. They're just old um, and are leaving my collection. And then after this, I have some honorable mentions of products that I'm going to try my best, fingers crossed, to finish up this coming year in 2023. And who knows, maybe, hopefully, you'll see some of these products in the end of 2023's video. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Um, first up is this Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in the scent Rose. Do you, like, do you hear that? It's so liquidy and it was not like this. I just know that it's old and I'm even, I'm scared to open it up. It just like exploded everywhere. Ew, okay. It does still smell good though. Yeah, it's going bye-bye. I, I can't. That was one of my favorites. I don't think they make it anymore. They have like a coconut, a rose, and a melon one. But yeah, pretty sure they don't make it anymore, which is sad because it was nice, but it's just a hydrating primer. LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This is the white shade. I do, yeah, look at the yellow in there. That's just gross. Um, this was not very good to begin with. It just wasn't very full coverage. It was so streaky and patchy. Um, this is so old. I've had it for years. I did shake it up and it's not yellow anymore, but still, I don't want to have that if it's going to separate and be gross like that. Goodbye. Speaking of foundations, um, this is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Shell Ivory. Um, I'd say it's pretty light right now, and I've had this for years. That's all that's left. I am going to sadly say goodbye. Um, if I do want to repurchase, I'll just find a different shade. For me, it's actually really nice. I do recommend it. Um, I know a lot of people like these Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundations. I have F2 and F3. This is F2. That's all that's left. And I don't know, for my skin, these kind of made me feel greasy. I would definitely repurchase the Wet n Wild one. And this is F3, by the way, it's literally all that's left. So I did try to use them up. They're just gonna go bye bye because again, I've had these for, God, three, maybe even four years now. They just need to go. But yeah, I like the Wet n Wild one a bit better. It's just a bit more on the um, less oily feeling side. I feel like that one's water-based versus the um, Revolution ones might be oil-based. Could be wrong. You know, I don't know the formulas. It's just how it feels to me. This is the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. Um, first of all, I just think the shade is off. It's not my shade. It's a bit warm. 
Um, second, it's just got a gross texture. I actually don't like it. And I saw after this at Ulta for so long. And look at how nasty looking it is when it dries down. So, um, I'm going to put it in my bin. If somebody wants it, they can take it because it's not old um, to my knowledge. I haven't had it maybe a year. So, if somebody wants it, one of my friends, they can take it. And let me see. I do have another foundation. This is the Ulta Fabulous Face Oil Free Compact Foundation. Um, this might have been my first foundation other than my um, Merle Norman one for pageants. I know I was using this in high school. So yeah, this is disgusting. I did hit major pan on it though. Literally only the outer rim remains. I'm gonna say goodbye. It was nice knowing you. You served me well while it lasted. Yeah, no regrets. This is a wet and wild color correcting wheel it is so dry and it's like again this was my high school makeup look at that i hit major pan on the white and i hit pan on the green um i was definitely close on the yellow the purple was my least used one so yeah these are dry now i you know swatched it the other day i'm like Ugh, yeah not good this stayed in my foundation drawer forever though apparently i was so i've been so tempted to keep it not anymore all right this is an e.l.f. Zit Zapper Acne Treatment with Salicylic Acid. There's literally that much left in there. Um, it's kind of starting to look a little cloudy. It's just, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to let that go. This is a um, eyeshadow palette from what was Angel Empire Cosmetics. It was their Full Moon Fever palette. I don't know. First of all, the colors in here were stunning. But like, look at these little growths that are happening outside of the pan. Um, it's, it's an oily texture i don't know what it is probably shouldn't be touching it but the shadows themselves were gorgeous i really enjoyed them while i had them um again you can just kind of see some weird growths happening outside of these pans here oh i just touched it again man but yeah this has happened before um while i've had it it's been happening i've tried to fix it you know I'll scrape it out and scrape the top layer of the eyeshadow off to make sure nothing funky is happening and it just keeps coming back. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm not going to look back. We're done. I have two mascaras here from Essence. They're both just very dry. And this is the volumizing one. I've had these forever. So that one's not as dry as this thickening one is. But I'm just ready to say goodbye. I have um, backups that I've been using because I just knew these were old. They were just, it was their time. This is a super old liquid cat suit. This is from the Fire and Ice collection from Wet n Wild that they did four, maybe five years ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's the blue. It's not dried out. It's not old. It's just a little too liquidy for me. And I think it's time to go. When am I going to use that again, you know? This is a hard candy coconut rose tinted lip balm in collaboration with Marilyn Monroe. I loved that color. It was gorgeous. It still kind of smells good. However, do you see all that mold growing on it? Girl, that has got to go. That is absolutely disgusting. I, ew, I just don't want to talk about it. And I was going to pick up another one. Honestly, I was going to pick up another one. But my thought process is if there's mold on that and I haven't even had that a year yet. I don't want to know how quick it's going to continue to grow mold. This is from Wet n Wild. It is from their um, Pump Pump Me Up collection. It's a toned up brightening glitter gel mask. And this was super cute while it lasted. I did use a good bit of it. Um, it's just dry. It's dry. It's You can't use it anymore. Like truth be told, I could probably get a pair of tweezers and dig it up right now yeah do you see it's just like gelatinous it's not going anywhere so he's not going anywhere besides the trash i'll say that much last but not least this one hurts my heart it hurts my heart so bad and i'm probably gonna keep it just in a drawer somewhere for like a makeup history box because this was limited edition you can no longer get it it is the Too faced love flush blush wardrobe yup and i will say um i did run out of one let me see this one is not growing mold on it 
That one is. Look at the outer ring. Disgusting. That one is fine. Yeah, he's fine. This one is covered in it. Look at that. That is disgusting. And then so is this one. This one's just getting it really bad. So they're getting um, crusted over with mold. It is so sad. All except for two. And I don't know. Let's just swatch these other two. I mean, I would not use these anymore. These I literally got this when I first started doing makeup. So these are probably a good seven years, six, seven years old. Yeah, I mean, they swatch okay. But I'm definitely not going to keep it. It does hurt my heart. Well, when I say I'm not going to keep it, I'm not going to keep it in my collection. Um, I probably will put it away somewhere to be hidden. Um, so one day I can come across it and be like, oh, I used to love that. The last part of the video, I swear, I'm just going to be putting some honorable mentions in here of products that I hope to um, use up in the coming years. And where did I put my spray I was looking for? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, well, I have the Farsali Gold Spray, and I was wanting to include it, but I just don't know where I put it. So, it's somewhere. I literally have, like, that much of it left. Alright, speaking of spray, though, this is the Jeffree Skin Glow Face Mist. I've been loving this. I definitely think I can use it up in a couple of months, maybe even less than that, because I use it all the time. Love that. I have a few primers that I'm wanting to finish up. I have two from Wet n Wild here. And these are just, this one's my oldest one. This one just got it last year, but I've already made like an incredible dent on it. So I just want to finish it. This is the rose one. And this is the pumpkin one that was for Halloween last year. I love them. I have five more back there, you know, and I just want to start using them. So I want to finish those and start rotating the other ones in. This Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. I do want to use this up. This has started to smell really bad. It's like feet. And I know it's not old. Like again, this just came out last year, I think. It can't be old, right? That Or even earlier this year. I don't remember when. But it smells so bad. And I did take the applicator off because I was a bit nervous of, um, you know, reusing it with all the bacteria and stuff. So I have that much left to go. I definitely think I can use this up quickly. Um, I might end up just getting rid of it halfway through the year if I don't finish it. I don't know. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. The Tarte Double Duty Beauty Hydrating Base Tape Primer. Um, this was a sample size. I'm almost done with it, so I probably could have included it in this year if I would have filmed it next week, which is the last week of the year instead of this week, but you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. I just wanted to include it. I'm almost done with it though. It's just a lotion-y primer. It's nothing great. It's just, you know, meh. Two other samples I have. This is the Givenchy Skin Perfecting Serum, like a glow serum. I've used so much of that, it's almost gone. I'm so excited to finish it. And then this is another product from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand. And I will add this on top or like mix it with my concealer for a nice little glow. It's super beautiful. Um, I would actually consider purchasing the full size of that eventually in the future sometime <laughs> if they don't stop making it i feel like they discontinue a lot of their products again this is that um hand sanitizer i was talking about i barely have any left i broke the top off so i'm kind of having to be careful of how i spray it but i would like to finish it nyx the brow glue um i don't have a lot of this left it's like up to right there and i would like to use the rest of this and repurchase that is on my repurchase list because that's the best brow glue ever love it Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is just one of my oldest ones. Um, I have made a pretty decent dent on it. You can see there's not much left in there at all. Like barely any. I would like to finish that ASAP so I can move on to using my other ones. This is a Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. This is supposedly the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wand. Look at how much of that I've used and I've only had it a couple months. That's crazy. Um, I love this stuff. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to swatch it look at that i've heard so many people say they hate it because it's not a dupe but i i think it is i'm i've never tried the charlotte tilbury glow on but i'm convinced that is because that is stunning it's beautiful how could you not love it it blends out easy and everything all right last but not least i would like to finish my mac painterly paint pot in 2023 i have made a considerable dent on it um it's got a nice little dome in there i feel like i'm pretty close to hitting pan I don't know how much further I have, but I feel like I'm close. That is all my products I would love to attempt to finish in 2023. 
yeah um i hope this wasn't too long of a video i'm definitely gonna be doing a declutter series after this so i hope you guys buckle up and enjoy we'll probably be doing face products first um lips and then eyes but i can tell you guys lips is going to be kind of boring i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of much at all because i've already done that actually i'll probably just go through you know the box of what i'm going to be getting rid of but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you next time good night